Hello, welcome back to another video in the Networker Training Series. Today we will be looking at the resource called Rules in Networker. So this topic might look out of place, but I want you to familiarize with this topic before we get into the protection groups which is coming in the next video. Rules are used to configure dynamic association of VMs with protection group. So rules can be used to determine which virtual machine and container will be protected by the group in addition to any objects that have been selected manually for inclusion. When creating or editing a VMware protection group, enabling the dynamic association option for the group allows you to assign a rule. We can either use the NMC Networker Administration window or the Networker Management Web User Interface to create and assign rules to a group. So in order to support the dynamic selection of VMware objects based on the user-defined rules created in NMC, we use the tags in vSphere. Tags allow you to attach metadata to the objects in vSphere inventory to make these objects easier to sort and search. Tags are supported in vSphere version 6.5 and later. When we create a tag in vSphere, the tag can be assigned to a category in order to group related objects together. When defining a category, we can also specify the object types the tags will be applied to and whether more than one tag in the category can be applied to an object. The vSphere web client displays any tags that have been created for the vSphere under the tags and custom attributes in the left pane. Now that we have seen the definitions of rules and tags, let's go ahead and look at how to create tags in vSphere and use them in Networker to create dynamic allocation of VM in protection groups using rules. All right, let's go ahead and uh, first create the tags and the category because uh, to create the rules, we need this created and assigned to the respective VMs. So up onto the vSphere console, I'm on the HTML5 console. So this is uh, vSphere 6.5. And if you go to the menu and tag and custom attributes, you will land on this page. So right now I do not have any tags or custom attributes created. So let's first create the category because the category is required to be assigned to a tag. So that would be the first. Uh, let's call this backup. So this is the broad category that we would be assigning and uh, put in description, telling that category of VMs to be backed up in Networker. All right. Uh, next, you can select if you want the object to have just one tag or if it is capable of having multiple tags. So here my option is just one tag. Uh, so the next option here allows you to select which kind of VMware object can this category and tag be assigned to. So I'm going to go just with the uh, virtual machines because that is what I'm going to back up using this, uh, using the tags. So let's click on OK. So my tag, uh, the category is created. Now let's go to tags and create, let's say a prod for my prod systems. Let me put it all over. So let's say assign to prod for backup in network. So the category is only one category, so it's auto assign. Let's click on OK. Let me create another tag. Let's call it test tag to be assigned to. Seems to be backed up. Network. So the category again is um, category again is backup. So let's go ahead and click OK. And I have these two categories. Now having just the tags created is not enough. So we have to assign these tags to VMs. For that, let's just go to VMs and templates. 
So this is my domain controller. So let me add a tag of prod to it. So right click, go to tags and custom attributes, assign tag, and then I will select prod for this. And then click on assign. That's done. So if you go to the summary page, you will see the tags assigned under the section tags. So there's only one tag allowed. Um, assigned as of now. Uh, let me go to this system and let me assign this the test tag. Let me assign that and this one as well. So let's keep two systems to this. Right back here, test and assign. So that is done. So let's go ahead and check the summaries again. So one, two, and three. Okay, perfect. So let's now hop on to my backup server. All right, so we are on the NMC now and uh, we are going to create the rule for uh, to be used for the dynamic allocation of VM to for the uh, VMware protection group. So let's go ahead and select new. So on this screen, you have a few. Um, so on this screen, you can give the name for the rule resource. The data type, it defines the type of object to be specified in the definition. So right now we have only VMware available. So next is the rule definition section. So this section contains a match type, which can have any or all. And uh, it is followed by an editable table, which co would contain all your uh, rule definitions. So I will select um, all. So basically any means that whatever rules that you define here, so you can define up to 50 rules in or 50 rule definitions in uh, each rule. And what you're essentially stating is that if any of those definitions match your criteria, then that particular VM or object sh should be selected. And if you select all, that would more uh, that would mean that this is more of an and operator which means that whatever conditions you are providing under the rule definition if a particular vmware object meets all these conditions only that will be selected and any is more of a or operator if you could compare that way which means that if any one of the rules apply to a particular VMware object, that object would be selected. So let's go ahead and add a rule for this. So we have the virtual machine type and we will be creating the rule based on a tag because we need dynamic allocation. So if you go ahead and uh, select, uh, select it on based on a name, that would mean that it would go and match the name of a particular uh, VM. So we can look at that uh, when we create another rule. So let's go ahead and set the tags here. So operator is going to be equal. So we have a number of other options as well. But it says not equal to which contains, which means that if a part of the value that we're giving here is contained in the property, then that would be selected starts with ends with so on and so forth so i assume this is uh pretty straightforward so let's go ahead and select our uh, tag so the the value basically has two sections so fun is category which in our case was backup let me go ahead and look at it yeah backup and then you have a comma and then the tag name which let's say let's create test first so test was lowercase if i'm not wrong yep and then we select okay so now our rule is created so if you look at the rule definition the type should be a, v a virtual machine the property should be tag and the tag should be equal to the category backup and tag test so let's go ahead and create a group out of it so for that Click on group, right click, new. The group type is going to be VMware. 
So now here you have an option called dynamic allocation because if you uncheck the dynamic allocation and do this setting, that means that the objects that are going to be allocated or added during the start of the group are going to be held static and this is not going to be dynamically changed whenever the backup starts. But when you check this, it means that the uh, allocation or the object uh, assignment that has been done to this particular protection group is dynamic, which means that whenever the backup starts, it's going to again check the rule. And if there are any objects matching this rule under the particular vCenter, it is going to apply to it. So let's, I have selected the vCenter as the only vCenter we have, that is vCSA, and then we have the rule. Now, if I click on preview all virtual machines, it should go and check for the allocation. It should go and check for the objects, that is the virtual machine objects in this case, because the role defines so, and should get that back to us. So this might take a few seconds. So I'm going to pause the video until this completes. All right, so if you see the, uh, a rule has picked up the one system that we had assigned to it. The other one is down. That is why it is not picking that up. So let's go ahead and click OK here. And then select OK here as well. Oh, I have not yet put a name. So let's name this test VM and then say OK. So our group is created. So let me set up the workflow and then we'll check how the backup work. All right, so the workflow is all set up. Let's go ahead and start. monitoring to see what's happening let me just pause the video for a few seconds or till the backup actually initiates all right so the backup has initiated so as I told you earlier failed for some reason but uh, if I go and uh, check in the details a proxy not available for data store. Okay, I can fix that in some time. But uh, what I want you to concentrate on is the dynamic uh, is the dynamic allocation of the group. So it has picked up zero one and zero two. And uh, let's try another option wherein let's say. I want to create a new rule. Okay, let's call this prod. And uh, this time, I'm going to pick it up by the name. Let me say, let it contain, and I'm going to call it DC. Okay, it's basically, if I go back to my vCenter, that is my domain controller, which is DC1. And I'm going to give it a part of the name, which is DC, and then clicking, click on OK. Go back to group. And then this is a test group. I'm not going to complete the configuration. Just want to show you how it is selecting it. And then the vCenter, the rule as prod, then click on preview all virtual machines. Let's give it a few seconds. There you have it. So it has picked up DC1. This is how simple it is to use rules in Networker at, and to dynamically allocate VMs to your protection group. So the use cases that I see is usually when you want to be independent of adding VMs to the backups. So the VMware admin can add tags and add the VMs and or allocate or um, launch the VMs within the V uh, within the vCenter and those VMs will be automatically allocated to allocated to the respective protection groups. All you have to do is maintain the capacity as well as the backup cycle and scheduling. 
So this is all I have for the dynamic allocation of uh, protection VMware protection groups using rules. I am delighted to introduce to you Networker Commands, the Android app that has been developed by Crazy Rove Studio. This app is a reference guide for Networker Commands, so no more digging into the PDF document for the commands that you are looking for. Just launch the app on your mobile and search for whichever commands that you are looking for. On the landing page, you have a search option as well as all the commands from the command reference guide listed below it. You can either directly scroll for your command here or start typing the command or part of it in the search bar. And there you have it. Tap on the command to get to the man pages for the selected command. The details page is quite vivid with crisp font and smooth scrolling. To go back to the search page, hit the back button or the back icon on the top. You can also look at other content from Crazy Row Studios on the menu. This app is currently available on Google Play Store and the iOS version is coming soon. I hope you find this useful. As always, you can reach out to me with suggestions through my Twitter page. Thank you all for your support. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, share it with our community in the comment section below or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account. I will see you on another video. Goodbye.